What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. Here today, my five reasons why I am returning for NHL 24. Now the first one I'm going to say, it might be a little silly to you guys. It might be, but to me, this is a big deal. And that first thing is dark mode. Dark mode in NHL 24 we saw last night. Clappy, the community manager, tweet this out. And if you don't think dark mode is a big deal, let me show you this. So this is my screen with the menu on, right? This is my screen with my monitor off. A little too dark. A little too dark. Let me turn this bad boy back on. And this, honestly, guys, we might have a class action lawsuit on our hands. Check this out. You'll see why I have the sunglasses on. That's with the menu. Hold on. Yeah, a little too bright, I would say. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I should have left them on. Dark mode, huge W. And before we move on to the next one, check out the Jack Eichel. A zone ability, a gold unstoppable force, and then the superstar abilities. He does have wheels, snipe, third eye, and tape to tape. Had the same menus for years. The blinding lights of NHL are finally gone. We get a dark mode. Number two on the list. This one is a big deal. We get a cross marketplace. That is right. Now, this is the marketplace on PlayStation 5 right now. Only 4,194 items. I understand a lot of us have stopped playing. Even when the game is well and alive, this is a low number. It is hard to sell cards. It's hard to find cards. This is going to be awesome. Now, number three on the list will be the exhaust engine with the sustained pressure system. I know. The what? The what? what? Let me show you. Roll the footage. Sure. The exhaust engine lets you feel the intensity of hemming an opponent in the zone, forcing you to make strategic decisions like choosing to establish puck possession or attack on the rush. Exhaust engine is made up of the sustained pressure system and the goalie fatigue system. The sustained pressure system rewards extended offensive events such as shooting, passing, and checking in the attacking zone. As you can see with the pressure... I'm going to pause right there. I'm going to pause right there. I saw it under... That's why I put my hand up for a second, but we're going to see it again here. Nathan McKinnon, you see right under him, he's got unstoppable force. Before, it was above their head. It seems like it's going to be under them now. So, that's one thing. The other thing you notice, the pressure, once that little circle fills... All of the players on offense get an offensive boost. That is huge. I think people are going to be cycling the puck a lot this year. Trying to get that pressure meter up. Trying to get the goalie fatigued. But we'll see. I think just cycling, attacking the crease, uh, playing some pepper with the goalie, getting those rebounds. It seems like the game is going to be hectic. And the offensive that's going to be the way to score, I think. Stats due to the adrenaline we'll effect. effect. While the defensive team gets a decrease in stats due to the pinned effect. Yep, defense gets a decrease in stats. Hockey plays effective. Man, it's going to be the tough. Number four on the list and probably my second favorite of the five. I have played a lot of NBA 2K. They have direct passing. I've always been like, where the heck is direct passing in this game? It's finally here, except it's called vision passing. Roll the footage. Go. Vision passing puts tape-to-tape -tape play with your teammates at your fingertips, offering quicker direct passes to keep puck possession and mount that all-important pressure. By mapping the controller's face buttons to your teammates, vision passing doesn't That's just huge. allow passing. more efficient passing. That's huge. But I could never do that pass. Like disguising Some of those top players out there, they would do that pass, play. no problem, score. I could never get the puck to the guys. Passes, Maybe I can get it to them to attack the net. This is great. But hitting the correct button alone. And the last and final one, well, first off, World of Chell will be cross-play this year. I thought that was advertised last year. I don't know what happened because I'm not a big World of Chell player. But that might have to change this year, guys. NHL 24, we are getting a battle pass. And not only that, a storefront feature that sounds like a good time. We might have to run some games with the viewers. Because World of Chell seems to be getting a huge upgrade this year. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. Those are my five reasons why I am going to purchase NHL 24. On top of that, I will be getting the Xbox Tour. Edit Ion, the X-Factor edition. I don't know why the font is like that. The screenshots look great. They really do, but they always do. The reason I'm going to get the X-Factor, you get dual entitlement, cool. But the main reason why these next two, three-day early access. So instead of playing on October 6th, you can play on the 3rd. And then you get 4,600 NHL points for packs. 
That makes it more than worth it, man. But then also on top of it, you get an exclusive Kale Makar player item, a hut power a hut power up icon choice pack in which I will be getting Wayne Gretzky or Muriel Lemieux, and then a World of Chell Battle Pass XP modifier, a times five, that sounds like a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up, drop a comment below, let me know your reasons why, what did I miss, what else is cool about this game, drop that comment below, subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you guys in the next one, peace out.